Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and I run a travel blog called Christy Wanders, where I visit national parks, landmarks, family-friendly tourist attractions, ghost towns, and caves. This time around, my two brothers and I decided to keep our sibling tradition alive and visit Santa Cruz, California. Our trip started from Los Angeles and we made a stop to get gas and food at Bravo Farms in Kettleman City, California. We ate barbecue sandwiches, shopped for souvenirs, and stretched our legs. This was a great midway point on our way up to Santa Cruz. Once we checked into our Airbnb in Aptos, we enjoyed the ocean views and we saw a sunken ship. We also spotted a seal that seemed injured and lethargic. We left and came back and then the seal was gone, so hopefully he was rescued. The next day, we decided to check out the mystery spot, which has been on our travel list for a while. It was opened in 1939 by George Prather. For over 80 years, this location has been baffling visitors with its gravity-defying effects and optical illusions. <laughs> to feel that you are summoning the spirit of Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> We learned so much about the strange gravitational anomaly, or gravity hill, which creates an optical illusion that makes it look like objects are defying gravity. We saw balls that rolled uphill to people appearing smaller in size, and even water rolling uphill instead of downwards. So feeling dizzy or nauseous or uncomfortable or anything, you can head into this next courtyard right here as soon as that tour heads down the hill. Just don't head down there with them because our tour is not yet over. All right, be safe, have fun guys. <laughs> this is that same 17 degree lean that we all saw Eileen standing at earlier in that photograph. Uh, as you enter this cabin, you might start to feel a little bit disoriented or dizzy. So let's take a moment and do another one of those nice deep breaths, shall we? Inhale through the nose. Hold it for a second. And exhale. Uh, you'll notice that I'm also standing on top of this table, uh, and are also standing at that really weird angle, right? I'm standing on top of this table, but my head is very much over the floor, right? Really weird. Um, you guys will have a chance to come up on this table as well if you'd like, take some photos, you know, uh, classic poses, Superman, Titanic. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Titanic. But when you do come up here, I must give you a warning. Uh, don't jump off the table, all right? I know it's tempting, but I guarantee you, your feet will not land where you think they will, okay? Uh, you might end up under the table, rolling out the window. You might fall <laughs> on your face, who knows? You might even end up out this window somehow. Whatever the case is, we do have a security camera, and we'll be laughing at that footage later. It was the optical illusion that made me feel a little uneasy. So if you're in the area, definitely check this place out. Beware that you might end up feeling a bit dizzy, nauseated, and overall a bit out of it like I was. I actually had to sit down for a few minutes before hopping into the car to drive away. But was it worth it? Absolutely. It was fun, it was cheap, and the gift shop there is pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.